everything is blue. Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be going over this avant-garde zipper face. So yeah, that's pretty much what this look is. The kit was purchased at Walmart. It's around $4.98 and it comes with the zipper, spirit gum, spirit gum remover, and all that jazz. It even came with some fangs, which I would never use for the zipper face. So I actually used them for something else. But this is what I came up with. This was completely thinking out of the box. Um, I don't even know if you guys are going to like this one. It's pretty crazy and out there, but I just kept going with it. So this is what we ended up with. If you want to see how to get this, then just keep on watching. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. We have a giveaway going on right now until October the 12th. So you're going to want to make sure that you are subscribed for this because you are going to be able to win an Urban Decay Naked Smoky Palette. And I know everybody loves Urban Decay, so make sure you click that subscribe button before you leave if you want a chance to win. That's all for now, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and always be you. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye. Alright, so we're going to ignore the fact that there are no nails on this hand. Uh, these nails actually have glue on them originally, and I was in a hurry, so I had time to glue these guys on. But I only had time to glue this one on, <laughs> on this finger, and I had to leave, so... The rest of them have fallen off and I've left my super glue in the car and I ain't about to be walking out there and getting it right now. So just ignore the nailless fingers for now. But today I wanted to use a kit that you can pick up from Walmart. This is called the Zipper Effects Kit and it's $4.98. It actually comes with some teeth as well but I used those for another tutorial. So. We're not using those for this. I didn't really see the point in them being in here anyways. But this is a zipper face kit. And it's actually got some of the um, said glue off my nails on it, the residue. But it comes with some spirit gum, spirit gum remover, the zipper, some face paint, a sponge. It actually came with two sponges, but I used the other one as well. And then a brush. So it's got everything that you need here to create this look. Okay, on the back of this thing, it shows the instructions on how you're supposed to put it on your face. So, I'm just going to read over these quickly and then explain to you what I'm doing as I go. If you are coming home from work, you could just go ahead and use your face makeup that's left over from the day and I think that'll do you just fine. So, I'm just going to do what it says to and apply the zipper. It says to unzip the zipper most of the way. Place the zipper on your face in the desired location. One section at a time, lift the zipper away from the skin and mark the zipper location with a series of small dots. Apply a thorough coating of spirit gum adhesive on the dotted line you've just marked on your face and then do the same on the back side of the zipper. Place the zipper onto the dotted line, gently tapping along its length with your fingertip. This will help the spirit gum to secure through the zipper to your skin. Use a brush to apply additional spirit gum under the zipper. Hold the areas to the skin again for one minute. Alright, so since this video is going to be on showing you how to amp up the makeup that you can buy just for Halloween, I'm actually not going to use the rest of the makeup that's in there. We can save that for another day or another project. And we're just going to go with confetti <laughs> and sequins. This is the Assorted Colors Spangle Mix. You pick this up at Walmart, it's a couple of dollars. But it's got all kinds of little fun um, confetti type things in here. So I'm going to go through here and pick out some stuff that I wouldn't mind having glued onto my face. And I'll be right back. So I have dumped a bunch of that confetti in this bowl. And we'll start placing that on the face in just a second. But first, I wanted to make this entire area here glitter that's going to be the base for our look so the glitter that i'm going to use is actually by hard candy and it's just this iridescent blue it's just really pretty that's all i can say it's got like really light and really dark blues and to adhere that to my skin i'm going to use the nyx glitter base or nyx glitter primer rather and i'm actually using a pretty decent amount because i'm covering a pretty large area of my face so once i have some of this stuff painted on here I'm just going to get this glitter opened up and then pack it right onto my face. So 
So I think I've changed my mind about filling this in all with confetti. I think I'm going to just use the confetti everywhere else to make the whole face look like a party. So I'm going to take a little bit more of that spirit gum and paint it up here on my forehead because this package actually has a few of these purple discs and I think they will look pretty cool right here. So that's where those are going to go. and adding some more sequins and then I decided I wanted to add some more blue down into the zipper area so I'm taking that water activated paint and just going to town with it and I'm really filling the brush up with the paint and adding a little bit of extra water so that it will drip down my face as well. Then I'm just filling in the lips and making more drips on my face. And then, if you can't believe it or not, it got even more weird. <laughs> I decided that I wanted to paint my eyes as well. And then we're still dripping the blue. I just picked up a black liquid eyeliner and started putting dots all over my eyes. This kind of gives me like a butterfly vibe. I'm not sure exactly what I was feeling here, but I was definitely feeling something, so that's what I did. <laughs> and then I just had this blue eyeliner and decided to add blue dots all over my face as well. And I also decided to fill in my eyebrows with this because it just seemed more appropriate than the brown. And it was more fun too, like who doesn't want blue eyebrows? Alright guys, so don't ask me what in the world we're going to call this one. I have absolutely no idea. Um, I do like the way that it turned out though. It is pretty weird. Um, pretty much all I can say about it. It's kind of avant-garde. It's like an avant-garde zipper face. That's what we'll call it. That is what we shall call this one. That's all I have for you today. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and always be you.